In functional analysis and related areas of mathematics, locally convex topological vector spaces or locally convex spaces are examples of topological vector spaces TVs that generalize normed spaces. They can be defined as topological vector spaces whose topology is generated by translations of balanced, absorbent, convex sets. Alternatively they can be defined as a vector space with a family of seminorms, and a topology can be defined in terms of that family. Although in general such spaces are not necessarily normable, the existence of a convex local base for the zero vector is strong enough for the hahn banach theorem to hold, yielding a sufficiently rich theory of continuous linear functionals. Frechet spaces are locally convex spaces that are completely metrizable with a choice of complete metric. They are generalizations of Banach spaces, which are complete vector spaces with respect to a metric generated by a norm. History Metrizable topologies on vector spaces have been studied since their introduction in Maurice Frechette's 1902 PhD thesis sur quelques points du calcul fonctionnel wherein the notion of a metric was first introduced. After the notion of a general topological space was defined by Felix Hausdorff in 1914, although locally convex topologies were implicitly used by some mathematicians, up to 1934 only John von Neumann would seem to have explicitly defined the weak topology on Hilbert spaces and strong operator topology on operators on Hilbert spaces. Finally, in 1935 von Neumann introduced the general definition of a locally convex space called a convex space by him, a notable example of a result which had to wait for the development and dissemination of general locally convex spaces amongst other notions and results, like Nets, the product topology and Tychonoff's theorem to be proven in its full generality, is the banach alaoglu theorem which Stefan Banach first established in 1932 by an elementary diagonal argument for the case of separable normed spaces in which case the unit ball of the dual is metrizable. <laughs> Definition Suppose V is a vector space over K, a subfield of the complex numbers normally C itself or R. A locally convex space is defined either in terms of convex sets, or equivalently in terms of seminorms. Topic. Definition via convex sets A subset C in V is called Convex if for all x, y in C, and 0 t1, tx plus 1 t y as in C. In other words, C contains all line segments between points in C. Circled if for all x in C, lambda x as in C if, lambda. Topic 1. If k. R, this means that C is equal to its reflection through the origin. For K equals C, it means for any X in C, C contains the circle through X, centered on the origin, in the one-dimensional complex subspace generated by X. A cone, when the underlying field is ordered, if for all X in C and 0 lambda 1, lambda X is in C, Balanced if for all x in C, lambda x is in C if, lambda, 1. If k. Topic R, this means that if x is in C, C contains the line segment between x and minus x. For k. 
C, it means for any X in C, C contains the disk with X on its boundary, centered on the origin, in the one-dimensional complex subspace generated by X. Equivalently, a balanced set is a circled cone. Absorbent or absorbing if the union of Tc over all T element of K is all of V, or equivalently for every X in V, X is in Tc for some T element of K the set C can be scaled out to absorb every point in the space. Absolutely convex if it is both balanced and convex, more succinctly, a subset of V is absolutely convex if it is closed under linear combinations whose coefficients absolutely sum to 1. Such a set is absorbent if it spans all of V. Definition first version. A topological vector space is called locally convex if the origin has a local base of absolutely convex absorbent sets. Because translation is by definition of topological vector space continuous, all translations are homeomorphisms, so every base for the neighborhoods of the origin can be translated to a base for the neighborhoods of any given vector. Topic. Definition via seminorms A seminorm on V is a map P, V R such that P is positive or positive semidefinite, P x 0. P is positive homogeneous or positive scalable, P lambda x. Topic. Lambda p x for every scalar lambda. So, in particular, p zero zero p is subadditive. It satisfies the triangle inequality p x plus y p x plus p y. If p satisfies positive definiteness, which states that if p x Topic 0 then x0, then p is a norm. While in general seminorms need not be norms, there is an analog of this criterion for families of seminorms, separatedness, defined below. Definition, second version. A locally convex space is defined to be a vector space V along with a family of seminorms P alpha, alpha element of A on V A locally convex space carries a natural topology, called the initial topology induced by the seminorms. By definition, it is the coarsest topology for which all the mappings P alpha, Y, V R X P alpha, X minus Y, Y element of V, alpha element of a display style begin cases P underscore alpha, Y, V to Math BF R X Mapsto P underscore alpha X Y and Y in V alpha in a end cases are continuous. A base of neighborhoods of Y for this topology is obtained in the following way, for every finite subset B of A and every epsilon greater than zero, let U be, epsilon Y equals X element of V, P alpha X minus Y epsilon alpha element of B, display style U underscore B, var epsilon Y equals X in V, P underscore alpha X Y Note that U B, epsilon Y equals alpha element of B P alpha Y minus one zero epsilon display style U underscore B var epsilon Y equals big cap underscore alpha in B P underscore alpha Y caret minus one zero var epsilon that the vector space operations are continuous in this topology follows from properties two and three above. It can easily be seen that the resulting topological vector space is locally convex in the sense of the first definition given above because each ab epsilon 0 is absolutely convex and absorbent and because the latter properties are preserved by translations. Topic equivalence of definitions Although the definition in terms of a neighborhood base gives a better geometric picture, the definition in terms of seminorms is easier to work with in practice. 
The equivalence of the two definitions follows from a construction known as the Minkowski functional or Minkowski gauge. The key feature of seminorms which ensures the convexity of their epsilon balls is the triangle inequality. For an absorbing set C such that if X is in C, then Tx is in C whenever 0 T1, define the Minkowski functional of C to be mu C x equals inf lambda greater than 0, x element of lambda C, display style mu underscore C x equals inf lambda greater than 0, x in lambda C. From this definition it follows that mu C is a seminorm if C is balanced and con convex it is also absorbent by assumption. Conversely, given a family of seminorms, the sets x, p alpha 1, x, epsilon 1, p alpha n, x, epsilon n, display style, left, x, p underscore, alpha underscore, 1, x, form a base of convex absorbent balanced sets. Topic. Further definitions and properties Examples and non-examples Topic examples of locally convex spaces Every normed space is a Hausdorff locally convex space, and much of the theory of locally convex spaces generalizes parts of the theory of normed spaces. The family of seminorms can be taken to be the single norm. Every Banach space is a complete Hausdorff locally convex space, in particular, the LP spaces with P1 are locally convex. More generally, every Frechet space is locally convex. A Frechet space can be defined as a complete locally convex space with a separated countable family of seminorms. The space R omega of real valued sequences with the family of seminorms given by P i x n n equals x i i element of n. Display style p underscore i left left x underscore n right underscore n right equals left x underscore i right q quad i in math bf n. The countable family of seminorms is complete and separable, so this is a Frechet space, which is not normable. Note that this is also the limit topology of the spaces Rn, embedded in R omega in the natural way, by completing finite sequences with infinitely many zero, given any vector space V and a collection F of linear functionals on it, V can be made into a locally convex topological vector space by giving it the weakest topology making all linear functionals in F continuous. This is known as the weak topology or the initial topology determined by F. The collection F may be the algebraic dual of V or any other collection. The family of seminorms in this case is given by Pf x equals F x. For all F in F spaces of differentiable functions give other non-normable examples. Consider the space of smooth functions f, r n c such that s u p x, x a d b f, an important function space in functional analysis is the space d u of smooth functions with compact support in u r n. A more detailed construction is needed for the topology of this space because the space c infinity 0 u is not complete in the uniform norm. The topology on D U is defined as follows, for any fixed compact set K U, the space C infinity 0 K of functions F element of C infinity 0 U with sup F K as a Frechet space with countable family of seminorms, F M equals supike M S U P X D K F X, these are actually norms, and the completion of the space C infinity 0 K with the M norm is a Banach space dm k. Given any collection k lambda lambda of compact sets, directed by inclusion and such that their union equal u, the c infinity zero k lambda form a direct system, and d u is defined to be the limit of this system. Such a limit of Frechet spaces is known as an LF space. 
More concretely, d u is the union of all the c infinity zero k lambda with the strongest locally convex topology, which makes each inclusion map c infinity zero k lambda left arrow curving right d u continuous. This space is locally convex and complete. However, it is not metrizable, and so it is not a Fréchet space. The dual space of D Rn is the space of distributions on Rn. More abstractly, given a topological space X, the space C X of continuous not necessarily bounded functions on X can be given the topology of uniform convergence on compact sets. This topology is defined by semi norms phi k f equals max f x x element of k as k varies over the directed set of all compact subsets of x. When x is locally compact, e.g. an open set in R n, the Stone-Weierstrass theorem applies. In the case of real valued functions, any subalgebra of C x that separates points and contains the constant functions e.g., the subalgebra of polynomials is dense. Equals. Topic examples of spaces lacking local convexity equals Many topological vector spaces are locally convex. Examples of spaces that lack local convexity include the following, the spaces LP 0, 1, for 0 FP equals 0, 1, F x, P dx. Display style, F underscore P equals int underscore 0, carrot 1, F x, carrot P, dx. They are not locally convex, since the only convex neighborhood of 0 is the whole space. More generally the spaces LP mu with an atomless, finite measure mu and 0 d f g equals 0 1, f x minus g x 1 plus f x minus g x dx. Display style d f g equals int underscore 0 carrot 1 frac f x g x 1 plus f x g x dx. This space is often denoted L0. Both examples have the property that any continuous linear map to the real numbers is zero. In particular, their dual space is trivial, that is, it contains only the zero functional. The sequence space P n zero. Topic: Continuous linear mappings. Because locally convex spaces are topological spaces as well as vector spaces, the natural functions to consider between two locally convex spaces are continuous linear maps. Using the seminorms, a necessary and sufficient criterion for the continuity of a linear map can be given that closely resembles the more familiar boundedness condition found for Banach spaces. Given locally convex spaces V and W with families of seminorms P alpha alpha and Q beta beta respectively, a linear map T, V W is continuous if and only if for every beta, there exist alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha n and m greater than 0 such that for all V in V Q beta T V M P alpha one V plus plus P alpha N V Display style Q underscore beta T V L E Q M left P underscore alpha underscore one V plus D O T S B plus P underscore alpha underscore N V right. In other words, each seminorm of the range of T is bounded above by some finite sum of seminorms in the domain. If the family P alpha alpha is a directed family, and it can always be chosen to be directed as explained above, then the formula becomes even simpler and more familiar. Q beta 
T V M P alpha V display style Q underscore beta TV leq MP underscore alpha V the class of all locally convex topological vector spaces forms a category with continuous linear maps as morphisms topic see also Crane-Milman theorem <laughs>